everyone, I'm Iñaki Godoy and I play Luffy in One Piece. And as you can see, we're here in South Africa bringing One Piece to life. Uh, we'd like to show you a sneak peek of some of our massive sets. As the biggest One Piece fan, it's been really exciting seeing some of my favorite places from the manga become a reality. All right, enough talk. Roll the clip! Roll it! This next upcoming Netflix series that's releasing on August 31st has a lot of action and adventure tied to it. We also have the episode list as well. A strange storyline if you ask me, but very unique and familiar to most. I think the One Piece live action will be very exciting for everyone to see your favorite characters and world come to life. And for people who don't know this story, they can experience it for the first time. Stop talking and fight. But for those of you who don't know, the series focuses on Monkey D. Luffy, a young man made of rubber after unintentionally eating a devil fruit, who sets off on a journey from the East Blue Sea to find the deceased king of the pirates Goldie Rogers' ultimate treasure known as the One Piece and take over his prior title. Because of the level of detail and attention that goes into all of these sets, they take a good amount of time. I mean, right now we're building Arlong's map room, and it's already been a couple of weeks, but it's a big build because it's a really important location. A lot of drama goes down in there. A lot of action goes down in there. So we have to get it just right. Today, we're going to go behind the scenes of this story in a series that will be releasing very soon. One Piece is the most popular pirate adventure manga around the world. We're heading up to the Grand Line to find the ultimate treasure, the One Piece. And I will become king of the pirates. Share One Piece and joy and friendship and courage with the entire world. But before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. What year did One Piece come out? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. I love all the ships, but Baratier is massive. It is iconic. It is surrounded by floating docks along with a bar inside the fish mouth, which is going to be Zoro's favorite spot in those uh, episodes. There were many spin-offs and so on adapting from multiple versions of the story or the different comics. For example, one of the longest running series is One Piece starting in 1999 and still going on right now with 20 seasons already. We haven't sailed together for very long, but we've got each other's backs. It's such an important story to chase after your dreams and stand up for what you think is right. Oh wow, this is like a lot of, a lot of manga. The manga, it comes here first and uh, they review it and not only One Piece but so many mangas and it's a place just full of history. And when we look at the trailer, it's obvious that many people put a lot of hard work into this and the special effects look pretty spot on. With fans of the series over the years, this is something that many can look forward to. At the end of it all, I'm most excited to just be able to share this world with old fans and new. We get to go to work every day and walk on these massive sets and see these characters come to life. It's a really special, experience and a privilege and we can't wait to share it with you. Now this series was announced way back in 2017 as part of the 20th anniversary. Now at this time I saw that this series was originally supposed to have 10 episodes instead of 8 that it shows now. I mean all the sets are amazing. I I mean I, I gotta go with like the Going Mary you know. I, I think every set is amazing but the Going Mary specifically it just has so much emotion in it right so if there is like one piece of set that really want people to see it's gotta be the going mary <laughs> one piece of set <laughs> oh my gosh. now obviously development ran into the 2020 pandemic and delayed the casting choice but eventually they settled on a list of people like morgan davis as kobe taz skyler as sanjay and emily rudd as Naomi. the original ip material is the thing that makes it so great and all of us want to honor that it's about adventure with our core group, the Straw Hats, this amazing found family. They were even still casting people up until March of 2023, which to me would seem like they wouldn't have a whole lot of time between then and filming and editing and rushing the special effects. But just based on the looks of the trailer, that doesn't seem to be the case. Monkey D. Luffy, he's a big dreamer. He's so cheerful and he loves adventure. I think we both share a lot of the same values. For this series, we wanted to bring the manga created by Oda Sensei into a new medium and to new audiences. Filming was announced to begin on January 31st of this year and finished actually just recently on August 22nd. Cape Town, South Africa was one of the places they had filmed for the series. Whoa! It's my hat! 
It's Luffy's hat. Check this out. Mmm. One Piece Oishi. Oishi. One Piece, great. <laughs> great. Uh, Oishi means d delicious. Delicious? Oh. Uh, wait. Um. How do you say great in Japanese? Psycho. psycho. One Piece Psycho. Yeah. yeah! Sitting down with Emily Rudd, she kind of geeked out over the, all the anime that she has been a fan of, including One Piece and Pokemon. So it's clear that she had a heart into this project that she was involved in. I have also been watching Demon Slayer because that's currently coming out. Of course, so good. And then you know, I'm just constantly on the hunt for more animes that I haven't already seen. I wish I hadn't gotten rid of my Pokemon cards and my Game Boy Color with all of the original Pokemon games. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Nami, obviously biased, is my favorite. She's the cool, calm, collected cat burglar of the group. She's kind of like an older sister surrounded by a group of younger brothers. Careful with that! I don't work for you. It's been truly amazing playing this role. We of course can also pay attention to the stunts that went into this film. One Piece is undoubtedly an adventure story that's packed with action and dynamic battle sequences. Some of the craziest fight scenes are carried by Zaro and Luffy. Very well versed to Katana work. Kinda got my own thing going on. I grew up with One Piece and Zoro has always been my favorite character. Come on tough guy, three swords! <laughs> It's an honor to be wearing those swords. In this world, Luffy has the ability to turn his body into rubber. Gum gum! On this topic, Spillis, the stunts coordinator, noted that Makenya, who plays Zaro, is very well versed at katana work and has a style of his own that allows him to really live and breathe the iconic swordsman character. Usopp is the sniper. He's the storyteller in charge of keeping everyone's spirits up. He does have a certain grace about him. Jacob is such a goofy person. It's almost effortless for him to transition into Usopp. Apologies, madam, I didn't see you there. Perhaps you'd like something sweet for. It's evident that an abundant amount of work and effort has been imbued into the production. I hope existing One Piece fans can see the love that went into this, said executive producer Matt Owens. We also get to hear from the cast and what it was like to bring this comic book story to life. Was that a tiny question? It, 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 like it, wasn't, question. it wasn't a tiny task. I, I was... Can each of you describe your character using a fruit? Uh, bananas. Maybe a pineapple because he likes to be really tough on yeah. us. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, that's easy. Tangerine. Taking a deep dive into what One Piece is derived from and the place where the story came from. Oh, hello. Hi. Hiroyuki Nakano. Inyaki. It's an honor to play Luffy. He makes me very, very happy and I want to share that with the world like you guys do too. You are the real Luffy. Inaki Godoy also joined in on this segment. First thing I really geeked out about was video games. I love Mario Bros and Zelda. And growing up, those were like my two heroes, Link and Mario. Matt Owens and Steve Maida, the writers, executive producers, and showrunners of this live action adaption, also shared their perspectives on the show. Additionally, the featurette offers fresh glimpses into Sanji's life on the Bratai. Being able to reach out and touch it has just been such an experience. Our crews down here in South Africa are incredible and it's been so rewarding to see them taking Oda's world and bringing it to life. Season 1 of One Piece's live-action adaption will cover the East Blue arc of the manga. East Blue is the part of the ocean in the One Piece manga's map where the protagonist, Monkey D. Luffy, begins his journey as a pirate. Oda-san has created this entire world that is so special and so unique. I think when the show airs, there'll be nothing like you've ever seen. Maybe we should skip right to the finale. Finding Luffy was such a journey because he is the center of the show. And in casting in Yaki, I think we really lucked out. There has been no confirmation of a second season yet. However, things are looking bright for the live action adaption of One Piece. The franchise as a whole is sailing strong on the success of One Piece film Red at the moment, which means that there's definitely more interest in the series now than ever. We brought the very first episode that Oda Sensei drew. 1997. I'm 19. This is older than me. Wow. I can see like the marker, you know? Shanks. 
His fists are like pistols. This is and we can travel all the way back to when the cast was put on the project and went to meet the actors that voiced the character Luffy, who would also voice the live action version as well, and meeting others who had a hand in creating the One Piece story. Hi! Luffy! Oh my mona! I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for bringing Luffy to life for all these years. Luffy and you inspire me to be the best version of myself that I can be. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, One Piece first appeared in manga comic book form in Japan in 1997. With an anime version following two years later, last year it actually celebrated their 25th anniversary and breaking the record for the best-selling manga series. Now we're talking. The spirit of One Piece is so strong in this. I've always been a pirate. We're all putting our heart and passion into this. I'm really proud of what we've done. We're bringing the best parts of the manga to life. Nothing's gonna stand in our way! But we wanted to turn this around to you guys and ask what your thoughts were on this series, what are your hopes, and how well do you think the special effects are? Seemingly now in the film industry, it seems like this is an issue and what destroys films or even TV shows. But let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. You need to believe in your dreams and that if you want to scream into the world, you should. What I really like about One Piece is it just has so many messages about dreams and friendship and courage. It just puts a smile on my face. Sumarashi. Sumarashikatta. Great. You are great. Yeah. Ah! Ah!